Welcome back, Conius here. Today I'm flying from Minden, Nevada to Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm flying a Cessna Citation Longitude. I'm not sure my flight level, we'll figure that out while we're in flight. Reset the view. Go inside. Parking brake off. Watching my glass cockpit a little bit much there, wasn't paying attention to staying straight. Okay, I think we can gently lift off now. And I always have trouble staying going straight down the runway. I really like to focus on at least clearing the runway straight before going off course. Okay, landing gear up. Flaps up. Normal approach KA527 is type Cessna C702 miles north of Kilo Mike Echo Victor, 5,300 feet. And Request make our flight turn. following. KA527 north tower approach. Squawk 2157. Squawk 2157 KA527. Rudders seem a little overly K5 sensitive today. Radar contact 3 miles north of Kilo Mike Echo Victor, 6,000. Roger, KA-527. Looks really pretty with the moon showing through the window there. Like we have a ways to go. Uh, maybe I'll set a flight level of 12,000. Alright. Okay, we engage autopilot. It's going to make some corrections. 127 decimal niner 54 KA 527. Oakland Center KA 527 12,300 feet. KA 527 Oakland Center altimeter 2 niner decimal niner 2 continuous land. KA 527 throttle up high for a while. Try to get some speed going. Good day. Going to 119 decimal 2 KA 527. I guess this is going to be kind of a long flight, but I am going to try to get the speed up here. We're going about as fast as we should be going at this point. Judging by the total airspeed. A place called the Various Wheel, that's fine. Uh, plane's covering up the label, but it was right here. Well, not showing up anymore. I 
assume we're at a good altitude to get over those mountain ranges. Okay, we're still going awfully fast. I'm going to pull back just a little bit. I don't know what the maximum speed is, but I'd rather not go 500 knots total airspeed. I'm just going to gradually pull back a little bit. Looks like pretty much satellite imagery. No um, AI modeling going on. Maybe a little bit down there with those buildings. label has kind of disappeared. Maybe it's on the border of the draw distance or something. Although, I would expect it to show up the whole time. Anyway, it seems like the autopilot is doing the right thing. A little close to these mountains, but I think we're safely high enough. with setting the flight number again in the game. Um, I set it to 529, not 527. It's okay, it doesn't really matter. It's just I like to have the flights labeled independently if I can. Sometimes it's my fault and I repeat the same number, but this, this time I definitely entered 529. I remember it didn't seem to get set the last time. really tell if we're going to need to go any higher over these mountains. I guess as we get closer we can make that determination. Also because it's not showing us the approach label, it's kind of hard to tell how far away. Let's see, maybe the nav log will show us something. So we've got a while to go. about a 30 minute leg. Just don't know on altitude. I feel like we're okay though, so I'll just keep an eye on it.
Alright, so we've got United drone speed plus airplane Delta speed going here. Three at flight level three three, zero generic. Report them in sight. We'd be able to kind of scout where the plane's gonna go. I wonder if I can look back and see the plane. Sky West five, four four eight traffic in sight. Yeah, I think that's it right there. Uh, let's see if I hold on Y, I can zoom in. United one seven three. I think that's our plane right there. All right, zoom back out. Really wide angle view this time. Um, I see other planes up in the sky. It's interesting. Maybe I can go uh, check them out as well. Guess they're a little on the far away side. Let's see if I can get back to our plane. Yeah, they they broke the drone speed setting for a long time, and then when they fixed it, it got super fast. Yeah, I need to fix my uh, what, it, what it would be depth of field or whatever, or field of view. I mean. Just do a little bit more exploring, but a pretty long flight, so might as well take the time to do this. Just a lot of interesting hills with bike trails and things on them. Looks like some some places have burned at some point. If I can, uh, okay, I see our approach label actually showing up again. That's good. I'm going to say I was going to try to see if I can get the forward going view centered. These mineral deposits are interesting. Seems like a huge amount of unused land. United one seven five eight have the traffic. Maybe it's really not that usable. Let's see what Coldale looks like. I should probably periodically go back in the plane to make sure there's nothing awry back on the throttle a little. But the approach angle to the mountains looks okay so far. Okay, back to our drone. I'm loving all these colors. quite completely cancel out the airplane motion and stand still. It's a little hard. Looks like a big uh, s seam in the satellite photos right there showing up. That's kind of funny. I need to find a way to make that less obvious. You know, with the beautiful colors in the moon, looks like the 
there we go, that'll reset it. Hit both bumpers and it'll reset your view to level. Learned that recently. Um, again, a lot of nice color here. I guess showing this as mountains when probably a lot of it is actually trees and stuff. I don't know. Get a nice altitude going. Yeah, the colors really start to wash out as you raise up. I kept thinking that I had a problem with my system, but I think that's just the weather engine doing its thing. Another plane up there. I don't think that's us. That's probably something else. I don't know if there's a way to highlight it and click on it or anything. It'd be nice to. Should be able to interact with that stuff somehow. Yeah, I don't have any idea where our plane is. I'm gonna ho uh, reset the drone. Okay. No. Just drop down below it. Have to set the speed back. All right, and we'll just stay positioned right behind it and below. Actually, I am moving forward now faster though, so that's not going to be behind, but maybe try to stay in line with it. It's very pretty. Okay, if I pull back on the joystick, I think I can stop and I might be able to maybe hear the plane. Maybe if I go up, I'll be able to hear the plane and then slow down as it comes by. So I need to hear something. I think, anyway. Yeah, something. And there it goes. <laughs> that was fun. I wouldn't mind actually trying that again. way off and then stand still and wait for it to approach. <laughs> that is a trip. Um, I wonder what this stuff is here. This looks very strange, very tiled, which is unusual in the game. It's good about not having things look tiled. That looks really tiled. Very strange. It's taking like I don't know, areas of dried up water or something and making them into buildings, that's very strange. All these little turd shaped buildings, that's very, very funny. Okay, I have no idea where the plane is at this point. I'm um, just reset again. The problem is just having to reset the speed each time.
Well, that was fun. Made me a little dizzy there at the end. So, apologize for that. It's always tricky switching back to different modes of view with the controller. It's like I'm only now using the joystick. And the orientation is different. If I touch anything else, I'm going to screw with the plane, and I like that has major problems. Los Angeles Center, KA-527, 12,000 feet. quieter in here. Maybe go to this view I like up here. And I finally learned how to actually save views so I can do control alt 2. And we can switch between well that's not the view I want there. I can switch between that, that. I guess it toggles is what it does, okay. I've got my saved flying view in the default, and my overhead view back to the default. Nice. That was Alt-1 and Alt-2, and Control plus Alt to save them. Learned that recently, it's very handy. This is just using the point of view hat on the stick. I've had trouble recently flying some of my paid third-party airplanes, my um, Top Rotor 103 crashes to desktop when I try to fly it, and um, also I have the Warthog uh, Thunderbolt A-10, whatever, and it won't respond to the throttle for some reason, which seems kind of odd. See, we're going a little slow. I'm going to give it some more throttle. So we'll have a way to go before we get to the airport. Um, don't know about getting over mountain ridges and things. So I'll have to figure that out when we get there, I guess. We're at 12,000, so we should be okay. I don't think I need to worry about descending right now.
All right, well, we're a little bit less than 80 nautical miles an hour. Again, I'm not really familiar with where the airport is in relation to the mountains. It's a little hard to tell. I could try to zoom in and see if I can see something. It looks like it's actually over those mountains. In which case I will need to climb. I'm also at a flight low of 16,000. Speed of 800 feet per minute. See if that has started climbing yet or not. Yes, it has. Okay. It should be a nice, comfortable climb. Might have to slow down quickly after we pass over the mountain. Something over there said jackass, I'm not sure what that was. Kind of hidden behind the plane. I guess there's something called jackass over there. Okay, in terms of the mountain range, we might need to go more than 16,000. Let's try 18,000. See if that works. I don't know if it's going to obey the new limit or not. It's, it's a, the Logitech panel software acts kind of magically with the plane, so it's you know you never know exactly what it's going to do, but it tends to work out. But I might have to disengage and re-engage it to get to the new target. In fact, the mountain seems to be approaching quickly, so I think I might up the vertical speed. Yeah, that's working. Let's see if it stops at the original 16,000 or at 18,000. I see a tiny little listening pixel here that must be another airplane. You can only see it on a 4K display probably. Kinda wish there was a way to click on it or get more information about it. Well, the mountain range no longer looks threatening. And we are exceeding the 16,000, so that worked out. So let me set it down back to... Oops, well that's, that's fine. Set it back to 16,000. 
and see if that feels like it's too high or not. This seems to be still going up. So disengage and re-engage. It does seem like we're still climbing. Maybe if I turn autopilot off and back on. Generic flyback three tango, you are five feet miles west. Descend and maintain twelve thousand feet. Expect vectors visual runway one seven right approach. Kind of settled on a level. I see now that the airport's actually very close by, so I'm going to start dropping the throttle down and turn off autopilot. Contact the tower and get a landing pattern in place. Las Vegas approach KA5277400 feet. Now even though he contacted them, I don't think it'll give me my landing pattern. Yeah, we need to drop speed quickly now. Suddenly I realize we're super close. So let's go here. Airport. Looking for KLAS. There it is. Las Vegas Tower KA527 is tree zero miles northwest, 15,200 feet with Mike to land. KA527 Las Vegas Tower. Altimeter 29 decimal 9 2008 in 29 Fly straight in runway 8 left. We're very close. Make straight in runway 8 left KA527. I've had pretty good success before with this plane slowing down quickly, so I'm not too worried about it. Just wanted to make sure I could safely get over these mountains. But I do need to slow down. Should be able to get down to f flap range shortly. Generic Zero Juliet Whiskey, follow the aircraft on final. One zero zero nine -er at two nine -er. Clear to land runway one left. A little close Clear to, to the ground here, but it's okay. Zero Juliet Whiskey. I'm not gonna hit it. So I I really did need to climb up over those mountains. Maybe I could have flown around them. Okay, we can't put the flaps down yet. I think that's more towards 230 knots, something like that. But we can see the entrance now. Should be able to level off, drop some speed, maybe pull up a bit, get those flaps down. First level flaps. And landing gear down. Uh, 
Okay, so I've had no trouble slowing down. I've found this plane to be very reliable. It really likes to slow down if you want it to. Well, I'm pulling back on the stick and... Okay, I think I don't have enough thrust to the problem. I'm just, I'm not getting, uh... Pitch seems to be acting funny or something. Let's see if I see something out here. Do I not have the flap now? Thought I had them down. for the pattern, but it will slow down. Put the flaps down again. Generic zero, Juliet, with key exit runway, with enable. Make our turn into here. Looks like it's just straight in, that's nice. Okay, so we just need to follow this in. That'll be good. Still going a little on the slow side. Left or down all the way, okay. That's why. Hey, Not, it's not telling us we're going too slow, so I think we'll just keep it like this. Clear to land runway 8 left KA That's helpful. Although I do want to slow down as we approach. minute micro adjustments that are too harsh. Just a tiny little bit of action on the rudder. Okay. 
That was a little bouncy, not a great landing, of course, but what can you do? Jet Blue Flight, 7 turn next taxiway. I see a whole bunch of Las Vegas buildings in the background there. Okay, so now, parking brake. Kind of feel sorry for the airplane, but it's alright. It will be restored. Um, contact ground. And taxi to park. Ground KA-527 request taxi to parking. KA-527 taxi to general aviation parking via taxiway Bravo cross runway 1 right Bravo Delta West E cross runway 1 right uniform Echo Sierra cross runway 1 left Sierra Hotel. Taxiing to General Aviation Parking using Taxiway Bravo Cross Runway 1 Right Bravo Delta Whiskey Cross Runway 1 Right Uniform Echo Sierra Cross Runway 1 Left Sierra Hotel KA527. Wow. I can't remember all that, but I can follow the ribbon. Hopefully nobody's going to land on me as I cross here. Make a U-turn here and go back. Okay. okay, going into that a little fast, but I think we're okay. I don't know if this one steers the front wheel or not while you're driving. I suppose I could try to figure that out and see. Get to the parking brake and go outside, swing around, and then see if I'm turning that thing. No, it looks like only the rudder. That's fine. It's nice in a jet fighter when you can steer really easily with the front wheel. Okay, let's continue on our way. See, so got an Egyptian pyramid over there. I'd expect this airport to be a lot busier than this one. I've got quite a ways to go, it looks like. Oh, I see the ramps over there. Okay. Can I just cut across? I guess not. K-8527, hold position, caution. The Beechcraft King Air on short final. Uh, but I'm not anywhere on hold position K-8527. The runway. I won't cross, though. I'll hold. Where is this Beechcraft? I don't see anything. K-8527, continue taxi. Okay. K-8527, hold position, caution, the Beechcraft King Air on the runway. Roger, K-8527. Really? 
I don't see anything. I see something behind me. Oops. And the game crashed. That's too bad. Well, that's it. I landed in Las Vegas. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. I'll get the game working again. And I will see you in the next video.